for the packing. What do you need twine for? The books. Perfect. Let's throw them in the car. Well, last year they wound up all over the trunk. So. Get the twine. Oh, I didn't mean that. You look great with a tan. Yeah? Yeah. Great as I did at 23? Better. Don't lie. <laughs> okay, different. Mm. No, better. You were so old at 23. You were just like your father. <laughs> was not. Okay. Was I stuffy? <laughs> you were trying hard. <laughs> Aren't you glad now that I'm immature? Sometimes. Let's not go back. Okay. No, I mean it. You can take the semester off. That's fine by me. Put the kids in school here. They'd love it here in the winter. We could drink gin, take naps. Go for long walks on the beach. You're not going to walk away while your building is going up. Back to Cambridge and the old grind. You love the old grind. Pretty strong, aren't you? Let's throw it right in the middle here. Everybody go to the bathroom. University of Nebraska? Well, it's not Harvard. She won the scholarship. How can we say no? Toby special. It's a wonderful opportunity. No one else from her school got in. I'm just afraid if you send her there, she'll never fit in. And she'll never be happy here either. I'd like a dish of chocolate ice cream, please. Meg. <laughs> a present. 
present. Where in the world did you get it? I wrote to the Crimson and they sent it. Just remember us when you're editor. Exhausted. I thought you were going to pack. Tired. I'll do it in the morning. Stop. Never mind. You could leave it for one day. Did I say anything? You don't have to say anything. It's easier for me to do it now. I have to finish the syllabus in the morning. I thought you did. No. Harvard changed the requirements for freshman English. They'll be writing two papers a week. I've got three sections. I'll be swamped. We forgot to get milk. Is anything open now? We'll go out for breakfast. Relax. I'm glad your life is so easy. I can't believe this. I ask you for help and you sit there reading the sports page. Been home two hours I don't have any start. dishes, no milk, I we don't have any toilet paper, newspaper. and naturally it's up to me. It's up to you because you're the one who wants it done right if now. If I wait for you, it'll never get done. Don't give me that look. You'll start designing your next project and I'll never see you. So don't tell me it won't be up to me. We'll get a housekeeper. We had a housekeeper. Greta was right. She was in the way. The house is too small. I'm tired. Let's drop it. I'll see if I can find a student to take care of the kids. Be 750. This is it? Inside. Right in there. I'm in Hallworthy. Do you know where that is? <laughs> no, I don't know. What do you think? You could just drive me in? I can't go in there. I'll just put your suitcases on the sidewalk, you know, and you just go in. Uh, here you go. Hallworthy is. Oh, yeah, it's right over there. Uh, you need a hand? Thanks. Sure. I'm Robert. I'm Toby King. So where are the doors? Well, you're looking at them. That brick house? <laughs> yeah. Quaint, isn't it? Uh, but it's strictly for the catalog. Inside, we're talking run down. Freshmen been living here since 1636. You know what that does to a place? Mm -hmm. Just... Which bedroom do you want, Karen? I don't care, as long as I get a top bunk. And I want a bottom one. There's no more closet space. Great. You two share a room. I want to talk about Hi. Toby King. Right. Hi. I'm Kathy. 
Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to Hallworthy. I hope you don't need much closet space. Oh, she's just kidding. Hi, I'm Debbie. Hi. Hi. You'll be reading a book a week and writing one or two short papers, about two pages. Well, what about the five-page paper on Shaw? Well, there are some authors you can't cover in two pages. We'll be concentrating on short stories for the next several weeks. In fact, very soon you'll be writing your own. Oh, no. Do I hear a panicked voice? Yes. Don't worry. You'll know so much about technique by then it'll be painless. And in case it isn't, I'm available during office hours and after class. How about 3 a.m. the night before it's due? <laughs> no. You'll cause domestic upheaval. I'm going to list the chapter headings from one winter. Let's see if the stories have a thematic connection. Oh, wait. I have two wonderful children, and I need someone to watch them a couple of afternoons and evenings during the week while I'm in class. No favoritism, but all the hagen dons you can eat. If anybody's interested, see me after class. Okay, The Courting of Sarah is the first story. I'll just wait for you out there. Excuse me. I'm Toby King. I'm interested in the job. Oh, good. You like kids? I have two brothers and a sister. Then you're a pro. Why don't you call me tonight and I'll talk to my husband and figure out a time for you to come and meet the kids. Please don't give it away. No, I promise. How are you going to do it all? I don't know, but I need the money. Mm. Comping for the Crimson, too. You are? Yeah. Why do they call it comping? Hey, Short Kathy. for competing? Comping. <laughs> I'm hysterical. I just came from Chem 10, and there's no way I'm going to pass that course. Debbie, it's the first class. I'm already behind. I mean, I couldn't keep up with half of it. And no Chem 10, no medical school. Change majors. By 1989, there'll be one doctor for each patient anyhow. Maybe I should take more liberal arts classes. Take Aronson's classical drama. 8 a.m. Oh, at least Chem 10's at 11. You know that lecture he gave on the Helen this morning? The Helen is an odd bird. Oh, I didn't mind it. The play is a classic, right? But that's because of its historical value, not dramatic. Euripides should have edited it. I'm going to go find Karen. I told her we'd meet her in back. Okay. That speech went on forever, and he read it as though it's logical, which it's not. Well, he's not looking at it from an actor's perspective. Well, I'm an actress. You know, what am I doing at a college that doesn't even have a drama major? I should be in, in New York. Even Yale would be better. Well, then why did you come here? Because my mother came here and her father and her father's father. What makes you think the college is morally committed? We're underage. That's poppycock. Did you see this? Pamphlet on birth control? Oh, well, let me see. That's health services idea of orientation for the freshmen. Oh, this is choice. Look, they made the information available. You want a lecture series? Well, where'd you get it? From the stairs outside the dormitories. And you call that uh, responsible? It's sufficient. It's dumb. Pass the ketchup. You are here to prepare for leadership positions. And not to look at the guys. They're all afraid of Harvard women anyway. Chambers to bed, Wellesley to wed, and Radcliffe girls to talk to. <laughs> Yeah, he's cute. He looks like a poet. Now he's cute, the one with the glasses. Oh, he's preppy. That's not exotic. They're everywhere around here. Not in Nebraska. I want a poet. You think he's a poet? He could be a poet. <sighs> not a chance. 
He was, he was born in Maryland, went to Exeter, spent summers in Europe. Speaks French? Fluently. And Latin. His family believes in dead languages. <laughs> he plays golf and has three names. Sounds like a law firm, but a dumb nickname like Buffy or Squatty. His father went to Harvard. Hmm. His grandfather built a library. And he can hold his liquor. That's a point of pride. How do you know all this? I grew up in Maryland. <laughs> Professor Simon? This is Toby King. I talked to you in class this morning. What? How are we supposed to study around here? Let's get out of here, please. Toby, what's your schedule? Do you have afternoon classes? Well, if you could get here by 4 o'clock, I'm sure we could work something out. Toby, why don't you come for dinner tomorrow and you can meet the kids? Good. Come by my office at 6 and I'll give you a ride. Carlin, go get the hot peppers. Oh, yeah. You can pick them out. I hope you like Szechuan cooking. Oh, sure. Anything's fine. Colin, never mind the hot peppers. It'll be better without it. But I like hot peppers. I don't. I do. Mm, I don't. I do. You I find don't. me the walk. Hectic hour. Let's see, did I tell you how many nights? No, I didn't. Greg works late. I have classes two nights a week, and we have concert tickets Wednesday nights. Ah, good, you found it. That makes three nights. Can you do that? Do you study at night? Oh, I'm always studying. Hello? Greg in here. I'm sure you'll be able to study. The children really entertain themselves. This is my husband, Greg. This is Toby. She's going to take care of the kids for us. Hi, Toby. Hi. Hiya. Mmm, Chinese, great. Oh. You're gonna like working for us? I think so. We're the perfect family. Do you like Harvard? Getting used to it. I like Professor Simon's class a lot. I'm not just saying that, I really do. Toby off campus is Greg and Jane, okay? Okay. Greg. Can you say Jane? It's too hard. She's my professor. <laughs> well, we'll work on it. Are you an English major? I want to be a journalist. Aha. That bastion of liberalism, the Crimson. Greats have worked on that paper. For example, I was the editor there. 1902. You were? <laughs> not in 1902. True. Not in 1902. Post, though. I start comping tomorrow. You ever work on a paper before? In high school, I was the editor. You know, there could be 50 people competing. You don't have anything to worry about. You've got the edge. I'll be dropping like a fly. You already know how to write a story. I, I feel so intimidated. In high school, there are only a few smart people, but everyone's smart here. You too. I better go. I'll walk you. Which door? Hallworthy. It, it's right there. Greg, what do you do? I'm an architect. Well, that's interesting. Uh, what are you working on now? A building I designed is going up downtown. I'm supervising. We just put a bid in on a new hospital for Providence. It must take a long time. It does. Where downtown? Near the Common. I've never been out of Cambridge. You haven't? What does your building look like? Well, not much right now. It's tall and a lot of steel beams. This is it. Good night. Good night. I could show it to you. You should see downtown. Would you? 
I mean, if you had the time, it would be great. Sure. I, I better go. Thanks for walking me. Good night. Have you ever gone out with somebody older? Oh. Forty, maybe? Forty? <laughs> My father's forty. All right, maybe not forty. Have you? Uh, once went out with a guy who was 24 when I was 15. Who is he? You, you don't know him. Probably wouldn't ask me anyway. I was just wondering. It's a good way to deal with virginity. What? Just kidding. No, you're not. Well, it's supposed to be better to have an older man as your first lover because they know what they're doing, that's all. There are other considerations, though. Is he cute? What is awfully old. He's cute. <laughs> and never take anybody's word for anything unless it's public knowledge. We don't make judgments on the newspaper, just news. Edie, you want to add anything? Um, yeah. You've got to identify where your information is coming from and attribute any information you don't know. It's important. Seventy percent of the stories you write will make it into the newspaper. And all your stories will be evaluated by the entire staff. Comments are put in this book. You'll be judged by your own growth. If you learn to write a good story, you'll make it onto the paper. Okay. If everybody will get in line, we'll give out the assignments. Hi. Remember me? Oh, hi. How sure. you doing? Okay. It's a pretty big comp. Well, it was smaller last year. How do you do all your work and write for the paper? Oh, I've given up going to class. Basically, I live here. It's more fun. I could never do that. <sighs> Radcliffe girls. Too serious. No, I'm kidding. Really. Honest, I, I, I like serious girls. I won't even go out with Wellesley girls. Too rich, no, no content. Funny. Want to go out for a beer with me later? I've run out of jokes. I have to study. Okay. I'll... Wait. I'll go. Okay. I'm trying to get to the bar over there. Okay. How you doing? You know Toby? Excuse me, please. You can just sit down. So, what do you want to drink? Uh, can we have two drafts, please? <laughs> Hi. They're both asleep. Oh, good. Did you get any studying done? No, but I'm getting really good at Space Invaders. <laughs> Did Jane call? No. Well, she'll probably be back right after class. If you wait, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Would you like some tea? Sure. I, I love your jasmine tea. How's the comping? It's a lot of work, but I did my first article. What's it about? Freshman reaction to the birth control pamphlets the administration gave out. Well, they didn't actually give them out. They left them on doorsteps. They did. <laughs> they did. 
Anyway, I was supposed to write about health services and their responsiveness to the needs of the freshman community. That sort of piece. But my friend Robert, he works on the paper. He convinced me to make it satirical, which was easy. The guys upstairs made paper airplanes out of the pamphlets and hung a mobile in the hall. <laughs> <laughs> then they put a sign on their door. Birth control clinic. Girls, please disrobe before entering. Anyway, I almost blew it with my first piece. Not the right tone. They're just probably afraid they'll lose you to the lampoon. Hi, Toby. Hi. Hi, you. Hi. How was class? Good. I left the car outside. You want to ride home? Please. Here, I'll go. Finish this. Relax. Oh. Okay. Be all right? Sure, I'll be fine. I can walk you. No, it's okay. I've got some free time later this week. If you want to come downtown, look at the building. We can grab some lunch. Okay. Okay. Stay in my head. It flies out and I can't remember anything. Well, take a break. Read something else. No, it won't do any good. Oh, freezing up. It'll come back. No, it won't. I'm gonna fail that quiz. Isn't there somebody in your class you can study with? Toby, the competition is horrible. I mean, last week somebody ruined Janice Stoner's experiment on purpose. But if I don't pass this course, I can just forget about medical school. You know, Karen was just born to come here, wasn't she? Kathy doesn't even care. How come you're so calm? <laughs> what do you think? It works. It's better, but it's going to raise the cost. Mm. I'll have to think about it. Donald, can I talk to you about something? Sure. It's a little silly. How old is Jessica? 26. How about Marlene? 27. Give me a hint. Anybody younger? Mary. She was 20. You were 25 when you were seeing her. You mean younger like... 18? Uh, I know it's none of my business, but uh, what happened to the perfect marriage? It's not perfect. It's a small part, but it's Broadway. My friend Brenda tried out for it, but she wasn't right. She says I'm perfect for it. 
So I'm going to take the train up on Friday. Why don't you come up with me? Oh, I can. I've got too much work to do. Besides, we have a paper due in Expos on Friday. So what? Kat, if you do get the part, you'd have to drop out, and you said it's just a small part. But it's Broadway. Toby, I'm an actress. I have to act. Okay. It's not in here. Why didn't they publish it? You just had a story in. No, that was two weeks ago. I've written three since then, and there's still 28 people left on the comp. Hi, gang. Karen, we are not a gang. Two female people do not constitute a gang. Give me a break. <laughs> Who wants more coffee? I do. Ooh, look at that. Professor Simon has a boyfriend. He's cute. Mm. He's not her boyfriend. They're married. How do you know? She works there. Well, he sure looks like a boyfriend. Hello? Hi. Sure, tomorrow's fine. Where? Okay. All right. Oh, Greg, what time? All right, I'll see you then. Bye. The older man lunch. Ah. What am I going to wear? <laughs> How's your lobster? It's delicious. Kind of a mess, though. Yeah. Here, let me help. No, I... I, I can do it. Takes a little practice. I've really never had lobster before. We don't have it in Nebraska. Not even frozen? Well, sure, but my mother wouldn't buy that. Not with four kids. How about some Indian pudding for dessert? Sure. What is it? It's cornmeal, molasses, sugar, it's hot. It's a pudding. Who came up with that? It, it sounds awful. The Indians? <laughs> You'll like it. Is everybody from Nebraska as unpretentious as you are? Well, I, I just have to catch up, that's all. No. That's not it. This isn't the best example of my work. It's a pretty simple structure. They didn't want to pay for any expensive innovations, but I managed to throw in a few. It's going to be all brick on the outside, and I'm going to do some very detailed pattern stonework around each of the windows. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. I'd have to show you the model. I'd like to see it. I really like you. You know that, don't you? I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Yo, Toby! Wanna go to a movie later? I can't, I have to study. Oh. You're turning into a dull clippy. I'm not dull, I'm behind. All work and no that was for Jack. It goes for Jill, too. Look, I'm talking about two hours at the movies. Two hours. Okay, but afterwards I go straight to the library. Look, I'm going to Wellesley. Toby, Toby, I was great. I was great. They loved me and they want me to come back and read for the director. I was so nervous. But once I started, I was fine. It's only a few lines, but it's Broadway. You are serious. Sure. Why should I wait? Nobody in the theater cares if I get this degree. But it still matters, maybe. Tell me about your lunch. 
It was fun. I had my first lobster. Kathy, if, it, if it's just a small part, maybe it's not worth it. I haven't got it yet. Now, I don't want to hear the menu. Tell me what he said. He said he likes me. That's good. When do you see him again? I don't know. Lunch is preliminary. You've got to go out at night. He hasn't asked me. There are complications. What? There just are. Who is he? Why are you being so secretive? I just can't tell you. Just because he's older? Oh, don't tell me he's married. No. No, he, he lives with someone, though. Kathy, he's not like anybody I've ever known. His name is Greg, and he's handsome, smart. I learn things from him, but, but that's not it. He understands how I feel. I, I can tell him anything. I feel safe when I'm with him. Sounds silly, doesn't it? But if you look back a couple of pages, you'll see a similar use of imagery in the first speech. Then it has to do with the theme of oppression. Exactly. But here you're dealing with the oppression of self. Society's mores are internalized and interpreted by the main character. We're no longer dealing with the rules of society. Mama, it's me. No, every, everything's fine. I, I just wanted to hear your voice. Oh, the job's fine. I, I really like the people and the kids. No, no, really, it's nothing. Oh, the classes are good. How are you and Daddy? And the kids? That's good. I know, Mom. I'll write, I promise. I love you, too. I was just going to ask you that. I failed the Chem 10 quiz. Oh, Deb, I'm sorry. Hey, you make it up.
one bite? No, thanks. Mushrooms, cheese, pepperoni. Mm-mm. Do you want a diet? No. You know, Freud has a theory about people who don't like food. Don't tell me about it, Robert. I'm trying to concentrate on this article. Let me see. It's not working. I've rewritten it ten times. Yeah. You see, first of all, your opening sentence is fine, but you can lose the rest of the paragraph here. It won't be clear. I'm sure it will. Look, you say the exact same thing in your second paragraph. Now, you can open this up here. I did that deliberately. Hey, this is Harvard. You can assume a high reading comprehension. Oh, I see it. This gets all whooshy down here. It does not get whooshy. Whatever that means. Okay. Well, what does it mean? Well, it means you're starting to lose focus. Your structure's too loose. You're getting away from your main point. That's why you're having a hard time. I'll look at it later. Want me to help you? No, thanks. Right now, I gotta go back to the dorm and change. I have to meet someone in 45 minutes on Newbury Street. See ya. I've done the research on a new article, but it's just not coming together. I mean, I have a first draft, but I, I just don't like it very much. You want me to read it? That'd be great. It's back at the dorm. I can stop by. Stop by and take a look at it. Here's the article. Do you want a soda? No. Well, I can make tea. I have one of those things that heats the water in the cup. I don't want anything. Okay. My dorm was like this. It was 20 years ago. Toby, you know what you're getting into? we're getting into. I shouldn't be here. This is crazy. I can't walk around here with you. I know you think I'm too young to handle it, but I'm not. Hi. Kathy. Yeah. This is Greg. Hi. You're Professor Simon. This is my roommate, Kathy. Toby, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Nice to meet you. You too. You lied to me. I was going to tell you. You said he lives with someone. He does. He's married, Toby. You think I don't know that? I, I didn't plan it this way. It just happened. And you're in her class. I keep to Look, don't tell me about it because I don't want to know. Really, I mean it. Just don't even tell me. Okay. So, how about a hamburger? I told you I have to study. Get for one. Melted cheese and onions. No, thanks. Greasy, oozing, bright red ketchup. Not tonight. <laughs> What's the matter? This is the weekend. You're supposed to have fun. Otherwise, how could you tell the difference between uh, Tuesday and Saturday? The week might start on Monday, then you go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then back to Monday again. That's boring. I'm behind in the reading for Aronson's class. I've got a paper due on Monday. I look, what's the real story? You, you, uh, you got a boyfriend over at Lowell House? Someone back home? Or a new love at Yale? Come on. Answer the question. There is somebody, sort of. I, I really don't want to talk hey. about it. Look, I do. He's not the issue. So tell me anyway. Robert, can't, can't we just be friends? Sure. Who is he? I shouldn't be telling you this. He, he's not available. Well, what's that supposed to mean? What, he doesn't like you? No. He's gay? No, he's married. It's dumb. You just didn't hear it. I'm telling you that the second violin is flat noted Mozart. You're hearing things. Hi, Toby. Hi. Hi, Toby. I am not. Did you have a good time? Well, 
Well, I did, but Greg fell asleep. I was not asleep. I was concentrating. All right. Okay, who goes? It's your turn. Well, I'll make the tea and you take Toby. Mm, I'll make the tea. You take Toby. Oh, Bell. come on. I'm tired. Please. I don't want to get out of these clothes. You ready to go? I had to say that, Toby. I was afraid you changed your mind. I know. I'm sorry. Jelly donut? How can you eat that stuff? I don't know. I like it. What's the matter? I didn't sleep very well. Donald, do you think you have enough fun? Well, my cup doesn't quite run it over. I don't. What would you say if I told you I'm going to take a long lunch Friday? I want to use your apartment. Let's say, um, you sure you know what you're doing? Okay. It's none of my business. I'll make you a key. Hey, you don't have to. Greg, look, I hate to pull rank on you. But I've been out in the trenches a long time, and... And you're going to tell me how complicated it gets. I didn't look for this. My marriage is stalled. I don't know. Calamari. Squid. Sorry, I asked. <laughs> How's the wine? I like it. It's good. It's very dry. I like some California Chardonnays, but you can't beat the French. How will I ever catch up? Don't worry about it. I'll pick the wines. Who lives here? Guy from my office, Donald Carpenter. How about some music? Oh, I'll do it. Okay. What do you want to hear? Um, I don't know. What you got? Uh, My Miles Davis, Coltrane. 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 Billie Holiday? Doesn't he have any country music? I've never heard any of this. Billie Holiday was a great blues singer. Does he know you brought me here? Who, Donald? He knows I brought somebody here. He doesn't know who. He doesn't mind? No. What time's he coming back? A 
Toby, we have plenty of time. What's the matter? This place is strange. Hey. There's no pressure, okay? I don't think of you as married because I just think of you being with me. That's not right, is it? Is it? There are no simple answers. You sure you want to talk about this? Marriage is tough. Some years, it's worth it. Other years, it isn't. With you, there's no history. No bad years to swallow. I was 24 when I married Jane. You know how much crap can pile up in 16 years? No, you don't. Toby, I don't know what's going to happen. I only know I want to be here. You have to stay with it and listen to the characters' voices. Each character reveals another part of the story. About halfway through, you'll begin to know what it's about. <laughs> Faulkner doesn't make it easy for you. Okay, what's the word? You? I hope you weren't in the middle of something important. Just work. It's okay. I didn't mean to make it sound urgent. I just needed to talk to you. Does, does anybody know about us besides Donald? No, why? It would be awful if anyone found out, wouldn't it? Toby, did you tell someone? No. It's just I suddenly realized that everything's a... A secret. It's hard to go to class, but it's only part of it. I'm not sure about this. Maybe it's not right. You are married. Yes, I am. That isn't going to change. I don't know, Toby. I can't say. I can't expect it to change. Toby, the situation is what it is. I can't blame you if you don't want to be involved. I didn't say that. Didn't you? I feel guilty, Greg. Don't. The mess I'm in has nothing to do with you. I was gonna... tell you that we shouldn't see each other. Is that what you want? No. I had 
that attack of pleurosis. He asked me what was the matter when I came back. And I said pleurosis. He thought I said blue roses. And that's what he called me after that. Whenever he saw me, he'd holler, hello, blue roses. I didn't care for the girl that he went out with. Emily Meisenbach. Emily was the best dressed girl at Salden, but she she never struck me though as being sincere. It says in the personal section they're engaged. That's that's six years ago. They they must be married by now. Okay, it's working. Laura, Laura, take a break. Amanda, let's let's go over that first scene again. It's nice, Kathy. Don't worry about it. Come on, you guys. Paint the set back there. Get the large couch. The blue one. Can we talk? I don't blame you for being mad at me. I'm not mad anymore. I know I should have told you, but I was I was afraid to. Toby, I'm not judging you. It's just that it's so risky. Professor Simon's husband. And it scared me. Here I think of you as unsophisticated. No. I am. <laughs> Midwestern. It's the same thing. Well, I turned everything around. You understand? Yeah. Kathy, I just never thought it would get so complicated. Working there, I feel guilty. I mean, not when I'm with him, but... It's awful. I'm afraid to go to class. Well, then end it. Tell him it's over. I'm crazy about him. <laughs> Might as well face it. I'm going to fail this chem 10 piece. Well, I can always go to summer session, right? And take it over. Mm. At least you don't have to worry about a scholarship. I was up all night working on a paper for classical drama, and I still didn't finish. What did you do? Today. I'm faking it. I mean, I haven't even done the reading. I think I should get a tutor to... Oh, no, it's too late anyway. I've tried to keep up with the reading, but it's impossible. It's just too much. It doesn't look good to go to summer session. Well, it's better than failing the course. Have you done that Indian soup paper? No, have you? I haven't even started it. You know what my father always used to say to me? What? If you can't be a doctor, marry a doctor. He must be a doctor. You got it. Toby. Robert, have you seen Edie? No. Would you give her this for me? I, I can't finish it. T tell her to give it to somebody else. Oh, well, wait a minute. What's, what's the matter? I can't do it all. I, I quit. J just tell her I quit. Hey, Toby, wait a minute. Toby! Hey, Toby. Look, what is this? You only have one more story to get published. I don't care. I'm on scholarship. I can't let my grades fall. It's too much. I can't do it all. I'll help you. Tell Edie I'm sorry. Hey, Toby. Bye. I just saw Robert at the Union. He told me you quit the Crimson. Yeah. How come? Too much work. But Robert says you're good. It's not a course. I thought you wanted to be a journalist. I have to graduate if I want to do anything. How'd Debbie do on the Chem 10 quiz? She says she flunked it. She doesn't know. Look, why can't you, can't you just finish the comp? No. Drop a course. I can't. Look, Toby, everybody's under a lot of pressure around here. Now, Robert says you are good enough to make the paper. You just have to tough it out. How does he know? I didn't go to prep school. I, I don't take things in stride the way he does. I, I've got too much work to do. I have to take care of those kids. And don't tell me you understand, because you don't. You, you just breeze through Harvard. If, if you left tomorrow, you'd have five other Ivy League schools just waiting for you. This is my only chance. I, this is it for me.
like it? I've had champagne before. Uh oh. What? I better stop. Stop what? Being your mentor. Oh, you can't help it. You just are. <laughs> You'll hate it when you're older. No, I won't. That's what you say now. I quit the Crimson this week. Why? I've got exams. It's just too much. You sure? Yeah. You can come next fall. You think? Donald, anyway. It's in the Berkshires for the weekend. Hmm. Where are you supposed to be tonight? are you talking about? This guy. I saw him working out in the gym. He's got the greatest body. Danny? The guy who was standing outside the door last yeah, night? Yeah, Danny. Oh, Karen, he's all body and no brains. So? I don't plan on studying with him. Hedda was destroyed by the subordination of her will. Ibsen was addressing the condition of women as he saw it in his society. It's a modern theme. So, the premise finds its roots in social context. Finish the play for next time. And leave your Faulkner papers on my desk on your way out. Yeah. I'm just going home. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna talk to you. Um, see you later. Okay. What do you want? No rebuttal. We're gonna talk. Now, why'd you really quit? I told you why. Yeah, you told me it was too much pressure. I don't buy it. Look, you're too good a writer. Thanks. It is too much pressure. I just can't take it right now. It's because of that guy, isn't it? I want to go. That married guy you told me about? Be quiet. Oh, you, you mean it's a secret? I just took out an ad in the Crimson. Very funny. You don't have time for the paper because of him. No. Don't give me that. I don't have to justify anything to you. Right. Robert! What? Nothing. <sighs> I just set a new record. I rehearsed for seven hours straight. Did you finish? Finish? I never finish. I just want to act. When do you hear about the part? I don't know. You gonna go to New York? Mm-hmm. If I get it. Did he call? Yeah. I'm seeing him on Friday.
Hi. Hi. I was afraid it was Jane. Her class goes another two hours. I'm a little jumpy. Where are the kids? Colin's at a hockey game and Jenny's asleep. You want tea? Don't go away. I just feel weird being here. I didn't go to Jane's class today. I just couldn't. You have to. I know. Toby. I know, I will. I better go. Wait. It's raining hard. I, I better go. Toby. Jane will be home soon anyway. I hey, don't do this. I just Toby. can't. I do love you. You bastard. Jane, I can't. Like, I'll bet you can. It's too bad I didn't come home earlier. I'd have caught you in bed. Just calm down. Get her out of here. Toby, I'm calling you a cab. cab you really me. are a middle-aged cliche. Right, you know that, right. Greg? Right. A middle-aged cliche. Just, will you stop? This Don't isn't helping me. I will not stop. 210, that. yes, Appleton. Get her out of here. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry you got caught. Still raining. I felt it, you know. Something was off. I guess I just didn't want to know. You want me to move out? Oh, it's up to me. I'll do whatever you want. Since when? You only do what you want. You're caught with your hands in the cookie jar, and now you want the punishment. Is that it? 
What do you want me to say? That you love me, and you want your family, and it's all a mistake, and you won't hurt us again. That's what I want you to say. I don't know what it is. And move out. I do love you and the kids. What do you want from me? I can't compete with 18. I can't. Are you in love with her? I don't know. You don't know? You're about to blow everything up over a teenager and you don't know? going to see her again. Answer me. I don't know. And leaving behind it a momentary fringe of water on every blade of grass, a pearly dew on all the downy leaves, a wet varnish on the smooth. The September sun cast a fresh, clean, yellow light over a sea, blue in the distance and turning to green over shore, where sand lay beneath. She didn't even put up a fight. After 16 years of marriage, well, you'd think she'd put up a fight, wouldn't you? You want cream? Maybe she doesn't care. Maybe she wants out. For all I know, she's having an affair. <laughs> Greg, the wife found you with your girlfriend. You're freaking out because she didn't hit you over the head with a copper pot or something? I don't get it. No. Then what? She's acting like this is it. Like, I'm supposed to choose now. Like, it has nothing to do with her. She caught you. I already had some. I'm not hungry. How do you feel? Sick. I have a headache. Hey, we got some chocolate chip cookies. And some soup and some orange juice. She's not hungry. You have a fever? No. Hey, saw your article today in the Crimson. What article? About Harvard buying up that property in Somerville. It's not mine. I, n I never finished it. Yeah, it's your byline. I don't know how it got in here, but I never wrote it. I wonder if I'll ever see him again. I don't want to lie down. Well, they got to find you a bed first. It's taking so long. They don't take mono seriously around here. Now, if you had the mumps... I had the mumps. I was three. Is it because of that guy? Greg? Probably. <laughs> he lowered my resistance. I envy you. Too bad I'm not contagious. No, I mean it. You're hurt. But you're out there on the front lines. Kathy, too. You guys take chances. Not me.
Jane? Go away! Please, let me in. I want to talk to you. Please. No, don't come in. I can't talk to you now. I have to pick up the kids. Why didn't you call me back? I left about 20 messages. Because I don't want to talk to you. Please go. Where are you going to pick them up? I'll go with you. No, not now. When? Tonight? No. When? I don't know. We have to talk. No, we don't. We don't have to talk. I can't talk to you. Why? Don't shut me out. There's too much between us. It doesn't all just go away. I want it to. Just leave me alone. I uh, figured everyone else would bring flowers. You okay? Just tired. I sleep a lot. They said I could leave in a couple of days. Is, is tonight Halloween? Oh, no, no, that's next week. Robert, you wrote that article for me, didn't you? You wrote it. I just finished it. Why? Because you shouldn't quit. You were one story short. You got promise. You, uh... You also got on the paper. Hi. No, this is my friend Robert. Robert, this is Greg. Hi. I can come back. Um, no, that's okay. I was just leaving. See you later. Thanks for coming. Thank you. You're so pretty. Mono, huh? I can go back to the dorm soon. Toby, I've made such a mess of everything. I feel responsible. You're not. I just got sick, that's all. Too much studying. Please, let, let's not talk about this. Toby, we have to talk about it. Nothing's changed. Oh, yes, it has. I'm living with Donald. I've got to figure out what I'm doing. I can't go back and forth. And I can't put you through any more of this. It's okay. No, it isn't. We have time. We'll talk about it later. You get some sleep, okay? Okay? My fault. Every undergrad gets mono. No, it is. She's so young. 
nothing you can do. I gotta tell her. But you already had. I couldn't. She's laying there in a the hospital bed. I just couldn't. What'd you say? Not much. I tried. She didn't want to hear it. I just wish I knew what Jane was going to do. You tried to see her? Yeah. She didn't want to talk to me either. What am I supposed to say to Toby? I don't even know what Jane and I are doing. Don't have to say anything. Just tell her it's over. You single guys are tough. Hey, look. She's in love with you. Not doing her any good by hanging on. I know. Believe me, Donald, I care about her. Even if I can't make it right. Some coffee? No, thanks. How are you feeling? I'm fine. It takes a while to get over mono. You said you wanted to talk. I do. Just say it. salvage my marriage. I knew that's what you were going to say. When this started, I wasn't thinking of you or Jane. I was only thinking of myself. I wanted to be with you. It was selfish. It can't work. You don't know that. You said you loved me. I do. But there's the kids. Sixteen years. Of hassles, that's what you said. It's because I'm too young, isn't it? Ruby, I don't expect you to understand this. But I love Jane, too. It isn't you. It, then you used me. No. You just wanted to have fun. No. You don't have to move back. I can't start over now. I don't even know if Jane will take me back, but I have to try. No. It's not an answer. Why not? Because I'm tired of being a wife. And I don't want to work at anything anymore. We're not through with this. I am. Who would you like to talk to? A lawyer? Maybe. I told you, it's over. I feel sorry for Toby. The hell you do. What do you mean you're tired of being a wife? I'm taking the kids to the Cape this Answer weekend. the question. Don't interrogate me. I want to understand what you're talking about. I'm talking about this house. This routine that you're so tired of that you have to go out and have an affair. That's not why. No, why? Because I'm tired of being married, too. There isn't anything else. 
What does that make me? Someone to stay with because it's easier than dealing with the emotions of a teenager? Maybe you take more responsibility for the house and for the kids. But don't tell me you put 200% into this relationship because you haven't. You let it slip, too. I don't want to lose you or the kids. What a sanctimonious speech. Well, I deserve it. Go I ahead. I did try. But I gave up. You put everything into your precious career, and then you wonder why you come up empty. It won't work. Try me. my jacket yeah sure it's in the car I guess you moved back huh Jane's away You don't have to say anything. There's nothing to say. Debbie passed her Chem 10 midterm. She's ecstatic. Isn't that great? Yeah. And how about the play? <sighs> they, they offered me a part as an understudy. I'm gonna take it. I might not even get on stage. Besides, I decided I, I, I should get my degree first. I'd like to get away from here. Toby, it's better this way. He's too old for you, really. It's too complicated. You'll meet somebody else. Somebody at Harvard? No. 
Sort of. How'd you know? Well, I never told you this before. But there was a boy before I met your father. Anyway, it, it, it didn't work out, and... That first broken heart really hurts. You think, oh, it's just never going to mend. And then you learn what everybody has to learn. What's that? It does mend. I, I hope so. did you know? You're my daughter. Oh, this came for you from Harvard. It's, it's my term paper for X-Pos. Good work. You really are a writer. Jane Simon. Isn't that nice? Well, you know, on second thought, I think... I think I will take that lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thanks, Mom. Come in. Sit down. You, you sent the paper. I heard you left. I wanted you to have it. I'm glad you're back. That was nice of you. I'm sorry about everything. I mean that. I know. I was very angry with you, Toby. But I'm not now. I don't hold you responsible, really. No, I... I am. Maybe a little. Greg had something to do with it. We're working that out. There is something I wanted to say. You're very young. You don't know what it means to be married yet. It's a struggle. There's so much involved. Don't ever get caught in the middle again. For your own sake. Come on, everybody, it's deadline time. It's not done, it's not gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> 